In this video, we'll take a look at how to make an interactive water surface in Unreal Engine 5.4 using Niagara Fluids. This water will interact with characters as well as other objects. We'll start off by creating a new project. We'll create a games third person template project so we have a character to run around with. Next, we'll want to go to edit plugins and make sure that we have our Niagara Fluid plugin loaded and enabled. Next, we'll right click in our content browser, we'll create a new Niagara system. And in this dialog box, we'll look under Niagara Fluids and we'll look for the Grid 2D SW Particle Collisions system or template. And this will give us a good starting point for our interactive water surface. And we'll click Create and we'll give it a name like FXS underscore water surface. And then we can double click and open that up. And by default, you'll see that there is not only the water surface, but also a ball or some sort of object colliding with the water surface. And we don't really want that. So what we're going to do is go in here and look for the shallow water collision particles emitter and just delete it. And that way we don't have that ball colliding with the water surface. And then we'll also look for this shallow water secondary emitter that's disabled. And we'll also delete that since we don't really need that right now. So we should just end up with our effect system water surface and our shallow water emitter. Drag and drop and place it in. We'll set the size so when you drop your water surface into your environment, you can scroll down on the details here and you'll find a section called user parameters, which has the world grid size. And I'm going to set that to 3000 and 3500, which should roughly fit this kind of area here. And I'll maybe have to just shift this a little bit to fit into place. And now we have our water. And if we were to click play, we can run around this water surface, but there's no collisions, nothing's interacting with the water. So the next thing we're gonna take a look at is how we can enable those collisions to collide with our character as well as other objects. So to set up collisions, we're gonna click on our FXS water surface that's placed in our scene. We're gonna look here under the user parameters and you can see actor tags. This is what this water is gonna collide with. So any actor that has a tag called collider, will collide with this water surface. So what we're gonna do is also add one more tag for component tags. And you can make this any name that you want, but I'm also just gonna call it collider. So we have actor tag as collider and component tag as collider. So next we'll go to where our character is. So we're gonna to go to third person folder, blueprints, BP third person character. And we'll go under the third person character here on the components. We're going to search in the details for tag. We're going to add a mesh component tag as collider, as well as a actor tag. So where it says actor tags, we'll add one also called collider. And we'll save that and we'll go click play. And now if we walk, we get water interaction from our character. A little bit extreme, but it's working. So let's take a look at how we can fix that up a little bit. So to change those settings, we'll go back to content. We'll open up our FXS water surface. I'll pause this for now so it's not simulating. And what we're going to do is go under emitter summary, do simulation tab. We're going to modify the velocity dissipation, how quickly the velocity disappears. We'll put it as something like 0.005. You can try playing around with these values. We're just gonna put in some settings that, that kind of work and help it out. And then the next thing that we're also gonna do is change how quickly it simulates. Cause right now it seems like that water is maybe too sped up when it simulates. So we're gonna to go to emitter update here. We're gonna open this up. We're going to go to get 2D SW update sim attributes. And for the delta time multiplier, we'll set it to something like 0.5. And that will slow down the simulation a bit or not make it as quick as well. And then finally, what we're going to do is go back to our emitter summary. 
we're going to go to our collisions tab. And for collision velocity multiplier, we're going to make it so that when things collide with the water, it only really affects its velocity by a much smaller amount, something like 0.1 instead of a multiplier of 1. And then what we're going to do is click Compile, Save, and we'll test this out. And if we go click Play, now that's a little bit better water interaction that feels a bit more reasonable. And if we want other objects to interact with the water, like this box does not currently interact with the water, all we have to do is go over to that box, click on it, go to our details, search for tag, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to add a component tag and an actor tag and set them both to collider the same way we have it in our effect system. And now if we click play, our character collides with the water as well as this box. So if I push the box around, it also now interacts with the water. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're part of the Patreon, which you can find a link to down in the description below, you'll get the PDF for this video, which goes over all the steps we went over in this video in a little bit more detail.